Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Dolphin Data Lab Technique Support Team. Now, this video will teach you how to get the files repaired so the files can be opened normally. Now, here is one test folder, and here are two files. Now, let's try to open these two files. Now, it says that the file is corrupted and cannot open. So, we can try to open another file. Okay, so we can see these files have unknown character re characters. Yeah. So, it's not recognized. So, at this time, how to fix them and we can repair these files normally. How? Now let's open one software called Dolphin Data Recovery Assistant Pro. Now we double click to open this software. Here is one menu called Extension. So we simply click Extension Folder. Here we can select the parts containing the corrupted files or the files with wrong extension. In this case, actually, the files in the folder have been renamed by the virus. So their extension have been modified to the wrong extension. So we select the test folder and click OK. And then next we can click check. So here detect the extension completed. So that means these two files have wrong extension. Now we just simply click rename and then click OK. Now we close this software. After we click rename the software has automatically modified the files modify their extension to the right ones now let's close the software and go to the test folder we can see that these files have now the right extension and we can open this successfully so this one, so both are photos, but before the modification, one is PDF file and the other one is DOCX document. Now we can see this Dolphin Data Recovery Assistant Pro extension folder and select test we can check. So these two files, they have been modified successfully. After modifying the extension, both files can be opened successfully. So this function is very helpful to modify all the files with wrong extension and it's very easy. Users just need to select the folder with all the files with wrong extension and then click check and then click rename. After that, we close the software and go back to the folder and then we can see all the files will be modified automatically. So it's very easy. Thank you.